Intel 12th gen processors are out and they are better than Ryzen 5000 in gaming, but only by a paper thin margin. It is bad news for Intel because AMD is only a couple of months away from revealing the next gen Ryzen 6000 series processors. In this video I want to tell you everything I know so far about Ryzen 6000 desktop CPUs, including specs, gaming performance, prices, release date and existing AM4 motherboard support. Also, we will compare their gaming performance to Intel 12th Gen, 12600K, 12700K and 12900K to see if Intel is about to lose its gaming crown again. Before that, a quick message from a sponsor. An expensive Windows 10 license can break your budget when building a new PC, but not if you buy it from cdkoffers.com for as cheap as $13. They are running a limited time sale throughout November. Simply use code IV20 at the checkout for a 30% discount. The key will be delivered instantly, you can copy, save it and activate your Windows 10 license right away. Buy yours now at the link in the description below. Surprisingly, AMD has already officially revealed most of the information about Ryzen 6000 series desktop CPUs more than half a year ahead of launch. Back in June this year, AMD CEO Lisa Su showed us a prototype Ryzen 9 5900X processor. It was upgraded with a new technology called 3D vCache. This tech allowed AMD to add an additional 64 megabytes of cache on top of the existing 64 megabytes for a massive total of 128 megabytes of L3 cache. For comparison, top of the line Intel i9 12900K has just 30 megabytes of cache. This prototype Ryzen 9 5900X with 3D vCache is essentially the upcoming Ryzen 9 6900X in the flesh. Yes, AMD will reuse Zen 3 micro architecture in the Ryzen 6000 series. It will be the last generation using AM4 socket found on the existing AMD 300, 400 and 500 series chipset motherboards. I expect AMD to reuse the 500 series chipset for this lineup, so if you have one of those, you will be able to upgrade to Ryzen 6000 after a simple BIOS update. What about support on older 300 and 400 series motherboards? 400? Most likely yes, but at a later date. 300 series? I don't think so. As for the Ryzen 6000 series launch, we don't know the exact release date yet, but most leakers say it will happen in Q1 2022. I think that AMD will do it between the 5th and 8th of January during the CES 2022 event. It just makes sense to do that. Here is some bonus information about other upcoming processes. Both Intel 13th Gen and Ryzen 7000 series based on Zen 4 should launch later in 2022. The prices are likely to be the same as Ryzen 5000 series at launch. $299 for a 6-core 12-thread Ryzen 5 6600X, $449 for an 8-core 16-thread 6800X, $549 for a 12-core 24-thread 6900X, and $799 for a 16-core 32-thread 6950X. Lastly, let's talk about gaming performance. AMD already revealed that 3D vCache improves gaming by 15% on Zen 3 processors. I created these benchmark comparison graphs using a more conservative 10% improvement average. Right now, Intel 12th Gen holds the gaming crown when compared to Ryzen 5000, but as you can see, even with conservative estimates, Ryzen 6000 series is set to take that crown. The biggest injury to Intel's ego may come from a mid-range Ryzen 5 6600X. It will beat i9-12900K if AMD can achieve at least 8% FPS improvement over its current Ryzen 5 5600X. What do you expect from the new Ryzen processors? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like this video if it was helpful. It was I, Vadim, until next time.